beloved in Christ, be it this Christmas tide our care and delight to hear again the message of the angels and in heart and mind to go even unto Bethlehem and see this thing which has come to pass and the babe lying in a manger. Therefore, let us read and mark in Holy Scripture the tale of the loving purposes of God from the ancient prophecies unto the glorious redemption brought us by this holy child. But first, on behalf of the entire congregation of this Church of Christ in the town of Gray, let me welcome you, and especially the children of our community, <coughs> to our village church tonight. And please join me for our opening prayer that's in the bulletin. Please pray with me. Almighty God, you have caused this holy night to shine with the brightness of the true light. Grant that we, who have known the mystery of that light on earth, may also enjoy him perfectly in heaven, where with you and the Holy Spirit he lives and reigns, one God, in glory everlasting. Amen. Good 
news from the prophet Isaiah. A shoot shall come out from the stalk of Jesse, and a branch shall grow out of his roots. The spirit of the Lord shall rest on him, the spirit of wisdom and understanding, the spirit of knowledge and the fear of the Lord.
It's just convenient. While it's not in the bulletin, just there so is a children's message this morning, this evening. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we're going to <laughs> So instead of having it all come up, uh, you can stay where you're at. There's no room in the front. How many know about geese? Geese.
from Luke chapter 1, verses 26 to 35. And in the sixth month, the angel Gabriel was sent from God unto a city of Galilee named Nazareth, to a virgin espoused to a man whose name was Joseph of the house of David, and the virgin's name was Mary. And the angel came in unto her and said, Hail, thou art highly favored, the Lord is with thee, blessed art thou among women. And when she saw him, she was troubled at his saying, and cast in her mind, what manner of salutation this should be. And the angel said unto her, Fear not, Mary, for thou hast found favor with God. And behold, thou shalt conceive in thy womb, and bring forth a son, and you shall call his name Jesus. And he shall be great, and shall be called the Son of the Highest. And the Lord shall give him unto him the throne of his father David. And he shall reign over the house of Jacob forever. <coughs> and of his kingdom there shall be no end. Then said Mary unto the angel, Well, how shall this be, seeing I know not a man? And the angel answered and said unto her, The Holy Ghost shall come upon thee, and the power of the highest shall overshadow thee. Therefore also that holy thing which shall be born of thee shall be called the Son of God. Of David, 
to be taxed with Mary, his espoused wife, being great to his child. And so it was that while they were there, the days were accomplished that she should be delivered. And she brought forth her firstborn son and wrapped him in swaddling clothes and laid him in a manger because there was no room for them at the inn.
We dedicate these gifts to your presence, to your love, to your work in this community and around the world on this holy night and every night for all the years to come. In the strong name of Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior, we pray. Amen.
read from the second chapter of Luke, verses 15 through 20. As it came to pass, as the angels were gone away from them into heaven, the shepherds said to one another, Let us go even unto Bethlehem, and see this thing which has come to pass, which the Lord hath made known unto us. And they came in haste, and found Mary, and Joseph, and the babe, lying in a manger. And when they had seen it, they made known abroad the same, which was told them concerning this child. And all they that heard it wondered at those things which were told them by the shepherds. But Mary kept all these things and pondered them in her heart. And the shepherds returned, glorifying and praising God for all the things that they had heard and seen as it was told them.
came to her betrothed husband Joseph in a dream to let him in on the secret. Then another angel appeared in the night sky and spoke to some shepherds about this birth which by then had taken place. And finally, this angel was joined by a multitude of the heavenly host, a whole multitude of angels. Angels are messengers. They move back and forth between heaven and earth, between God and his creatures. In a great Christmas carol, we sing of them bending near the earth. However they show up, whenever they show up, it is a sign that something important is about to happen. So angels appeared to Mary and to Joseph and the shepherds, which is remarkable enough and important enough. What is even more important and more remarkable is the fact that Mary and Joseph and the shepherds believed them. <laughs> we live in a skeptical age. We all have a sharpened ability to disbelieve. This is not a bad thing. We could not get through a week of advertisements, <laughs> robocalls, and other entreaties if we did not. We would spend every cent we have if we were credulous enough to believe all the claims and pleas that we hear in a week. But skepticism, disbelief, only gets us so far in life. We also need the courage to believe that there is something more to life than meets the eye. We need the courage to trust our marriage partners, to trust our parents and children and neighbors, at least most of the time, <laughs> to trust that most errors and mistakes can be corrected by people of good faith. And we need to trust the promises of God as revealed through the centuries that our tradition of faith is a good one, that it provides good guidance, that telling the story of the parents and the babe and the animals in the stable with the shepherds and angels gathered around is not just an enjoyable story, but a true story. <coughs> we need the courage to believe that this story tells us something truer about our world than all the charts and graphs and numbers and predictions of economists and threats of politicians. That this child born in a stable was much more important than the Emperor Augustus who was born in a palace a few years earlier. More important than any head of state. We need to believe what the angels said back then, that this child is our savior, that the saving work is still in progress, yea, the saving work has only just begun. <coughs> we must believe what the angels are saying to us even now, that something new, something joyful, is breaking into our midst tonight as it broke into the world of the shepherds and wise men 20 centuries ago. <coughs> Something new is being born here tonight in this town of Gray, in this state of Maine, in these United States. Have the courage to believe the gospel have the courage to believe that the best of this community and this nation is yet to come. Merry Christmas and amen. amen.
incarnation gathered into one things earthly and heavenly. Bestow upon you the fullness of inward peace and goodwill. And may the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be with you now and forevermore. Amen. Amen.